guys. In this video, we are going to be working on volume of cylinders, but not just solving for volume. We're going to work on solving for radius if we are given the volume and also given the volume finding height. So our steps for this process are to first write down the formula, substitute the given information into the formula, and then finally using inverse operations to isolate or solve for the missing measurement. So the volume of a cylinder formula is pi r squared times height r being the radius, h being the height. So looking at this picture here, you can see that the purple line that goes from the center of the circle to the outside of the circle, that's called our radius. And then the height is gonna be from the center of one of the circle bases down to the center of the opposite circle base, that is your height measurement. And then the green line here that goes all the way across through the center of the circle from one side to the other, that's called the diameter. And the diameter is twice the distance of the radius. So we're gonna, in one of our examples, we're going to be using diameter and we'll talk about how to get radius from that measurement. So let's look at the first example, solving for height, given the volume of the cylinder is 401.92 cubic centimeters with a diameter of eight centimeters, what is the height of the cylinder? So let's first write down the volume, pi r squared times height, write down our volume formula, and we're, now we're going to substitute the given information in. So we know that the volume is 401.92, so we're going to sub that in for V in the formula. We're going to use 3.14 for pi in all of our examples times the radius squared. Now we're given diameter is eight. So that means the radius is going to be half of that, which is four. So we're going to use that measurement because that's what our formula is calling for. And we need to square four. So I'm going to write four as a factor twice. I feel like that helps remember that we're multiplying the factor twice instead of multiplying by two. That's a difference there. And then we're looking for height, so we're just gonna write H, because we don't know what that number is. All right, so our next step is gonna be to go ahead and multiply pi times radius squared with our calculators. So when we plug those numbers into our calculator, we get 50.24 times H is still gonna come down, because we have not done anything with that variable yet. We're just one step closer to solving for it. Now we're gonna divide both sides by 50.24. That's our inverse operation, right? Because 50.24 times height, the inverse of multiplying would be dividing, okay? So those 50.24s are gonna cancel out and we get that our height is equal to eight centimeters. And that measurement is going to be, the units of measure are just centimeters, okay? Next, we're gonna solve for radius. If we are given the volume, of 471 cubic inches and a height of six inches, what is the radius? So same process, we're gonna write down our formula, volume equals pi r squared times height. And now we're gonna substitute. We know the volume is 471 and we know height is six. So we don't have to do anything to that number. That's exactly what we need. Formula is calling for H. All right, and we're gonna solve for radius. So let's substitute 471 in for V. We're gonna use 3.14 for pi. I don't know what radius squared is, so I'm gonna write that as a variable, but I do know the height is six, so we're gonna substitute a six in there, all right? Next step is going to be to go ahead and multiply pi times six. When we do that, we get 18.84, bring down the r squared. That's still part of our unknown value, okay? Now, 18.84 times r squared, we need now use the inverse operation. So let's divide by 18.84. That's gonna isolate R squared. Remember, whatever we do on one side of the equation, we gotta do on the other side. Our 18.84s cancel out. We are left with R squared equals, we get 25. And we are not finished now. We need to know what R is, not R squared. So our final step would be the inverse operation of R squared would be to take the square root. So we unsquare r squared until we get r equals the square root of 25 is 5 and our units of measure on the radius is going to be inches. That is how we isolate variables other than volume using a volume measurement.